Welcome back, everyone, to Diablo 3 here on the Husky Hair. We just got into the Royal Crypts here. We are very close to the Skeleton King. So in the last episode, we talked about my expansion idea. And I had asked everyone, if you could, to put something in the comments to let me know what you thought of it. Keep I'm going to rush along here. It's a little bit of a story here. And the reason why I believe expansion is the best way to go, and while, the, while Diablo 4 could bring back some people that the beginning of Diablo 3 lost, um, I still think that there's, what else can you do with a Diablo 4? Like, what, can, what else can you do with the story? You know, the, the prime evil is gone as of right now. The, um, you know, Malphael's gone. So, aside from heading in, uh, there is one way I think you can continue the story. And I think that's what we're going to talk about this episode, is the fight against uh, Imperius, the Archangel of Valor. Um, I've always thought ever since I got the Book of Cain before Diablo 3 came out, that Imperius seemed a little iffy to me. He's very brash, and he's very quick to, um, to violence. We have just arrived in Tristram. And uh, it just doesn't seem like any of the other uh, Archangels, so especially n nothing like, um, like, like uh, Tyrael. Okay, minus too much damage, too much damage going. So, they could go into that, uh, the plight of the angels. And here we go, we're entering the crypt of the skeleton king. We're going to have our first boss battle here. I do not understand how evil so, Bun Bun is not day. feeling too good right now. You her eye, will never defeat me! Her one eye is red. So, we have an appointment for her tomorrow. Hopefully things are okay. She seems to be acting fine, but her eye looks like it's bothering her a bit. So, we made an appointment with our local vet. So we ensure that our mascot and our friend, Bun Bun, is doing okay. And in her name, we shall destroy the Ark. I do like this fight, it's a fun fight. <laughs> yeah, do your laughs, let's go. Do some pretty decent damage to him. Wow, I thought he was going to summon his uh, little minions there. There he goes. See, normally he only does one of those lunges, and then he summons, and then he does that. He's about halfway up, halfway down now, it's not bad. Decent progress already. Yeah, he. Yeah, he. Run to run. Ow. Good work. He's almost done here. Fun little fight to start the game off. And he's done. Quest complete. And we should get our first legendary. There it is. It's a two handed sword. So, not the type that I would have liked to have gotten. But I really like to see a wand or a staff. So, unfortunately, let's see what we got here. Faithful memory. Obviously, much better than what we're using. So, yes. We will utilize it. So 
So overall, nice little hole here from the Skeleton King. Nothing too much else we can use right now. So let's finish this mission and head back to New Tristram. The desolate chamber. Hidden behind Leoric's throne. Wonder what it was used for. Not throne, it's crypt. Uh, crypt throne? I guess you can say? Crypt throne? Is that a thing? It was you that fell from the sky? I am. Yes. I, I was. was. Alright, so we're returning to New Tristram here. We just saved the person who is at the Falling Star. So the search for the Fallen Star is over. Let's talk to Deckard King. This is what fell out of the sky. No man could survive such a thing. No man, no, because he's not just a man. We just got another weapon here. Not as good. Let's grab this quest. Now we need to find the Sword of the Stranger. and get rid of all this junk. I just realized why we're not getting any reusable parts. I'm not picking up anything that's white. So that's... That's why. Oh well. What are you going to do? Some what about these merchants? They selling anything decent here? You should take no, a look. no, 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 no. Well, that's kind of good, but the armor is terrible. Nice increase of uh, intellect, though, so we'll do that. Alrighty. So we are heading back out. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have to head back out. We're heading to the fields of misery. Cemetery of the Forsaken. And we're heading north. Gotta keep remembering what's really going on here. Ah. It's refreshing playing this again. I've if missed Diablo. Here, we will find it. Boss fights in Diablo 3. Which was your favorite boss fight in Diablo 3? I'd love to know. I'm talking like even like in the in the rifts or anything like that. Any kind of boss that you had to work towards uh, getting to. Which one was your favorite? I have to go with the tried and true. It might be a little cliche for Diablo 3 fans, but Belial was an awesome fight. I love the uh, the change in uh, camera angle. To better suit his larger form, especially on the uh, the console versions, that was really really cool how they did that with the full frontal uh, view of the Lyle. It was like a whole new uh, way to do that fight, although the mechanics were pretty the same. That's a glow. Wow, we found the cars were done really quickly. So let's find the glowing sword shard. That's kind of hard to say. Glowing sword shard. But, uh, you know, Asmodan I found to be a very disappointing fight. Um, Kill her. Uh, you know, the Skeleton King was interesting, but, you know, obviously that's the introductory fight. It, it, it's not meant to really give you anything uh, in, in certain terms of challenge. Magda was interesting. Speaking of Magda, there you go. Yours? I believe you are mistaken. Damn right you're mistaken. Let the games begin. Sure, why not? She's sending a whole bunch of cultists after us. Terrible. Terrible showing. Really? I well fought, but you will never possess the next piece. I'll, I'll possess whatever the hell I want. Ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. There we go. So there's our glowing sword shard. We're going to take this back to King with a uh, I need to go back. town portal. We are not 
not the only one seeking the sword. I had to take the first. The coven. No, that's better. Hat there, not bad. So now we're going to get to get the broken blade in the drowned temple, and we're going to do that on the next episode of Diablo Three here on the Husky Hair. We're making some more progress. We are now level twelve, so not bad. We beat the Skeleton King, and we're on to the sword, making some good progress. Thanks for watching and sticking with us. We are continuing on our way through Act One. Uh, we're going to be done in this before we even think about it. Maybe. It'll take a little longer. We'll see. Thanks for being here, guys, and we'll see you again tomorrow. New videos are coming out every day, and I would appreciate it if you stick around and watch them. You can find two of them right here. Oh, and a sweet picture of Bun Bun. You want to make her happy, right? Do the right thing. Push that big red button down there. Subscribe to the channel, get some more awesome content, and follow me at those social media pages. Thanks again. Thank you all again for watching this video. I don't have any sponsors to plug, but I do co-own a startup company called Dropster, which just released a new product called OpenFeed, which can be found at openfeed.io. OpenFeed is a real-time information center for gamers and journalists to ensure they stay up to date with everything happening in the gaming industry. OpenFeed is free to use and ready to enhance the way you get news about everything gaming. Check it out at openfeed.io.